Have you ever had an issue with your fluorocarbon knot breaking? I tell you, you're not alone because I have, and I recently made a knot adjustment to make sure that I was not losing fish, not breaking off baits, and I'm gonna show you exactly what that knot is. I started using it for my swim baits, and I don't know why I didn't switch earlier, but I now tie it across the board for all of my fluorocarbon fishing lines from six pound all the way up to 25 pound. So the knot that I tie is the double San Diego jam, and that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. But before I show you guys how to tie it briefly, or real quick, I'm gonna talk about the problems I had. So this year in particular, I'm not exactly sure why, but I was actually breaking off fish on the hook set. It's never happened before. I don't know why it just started happening this year, but I, I went and started looking, started researching for what fluorocarbon knots work the best. I was originally using a double uni knot, pretty easy knot. I use it a lot offshore. It works great for a lot of monofilaments and I had zero issues with it. Again, this is the first year that I've ever had any issues with my knot whatsoever, but I don't know what it is, but this year in particular, I started breaking off a lot of fish. So I was tying that double uni. That's what I used most often. And I've tried the Palomar knot and I didn't have great success with it. I've heard a bunch of people say that's all they tie. They, you know, don't break off a lot and they use it for all their fluorocarbon lines. I used that for a couple of years, guys, and I would try it intermittently in between knots and I just never had great success with it. It works really well if you retie after every fish, but I feel the way that that knot positions on the head of that bait, it really catches their teeth when you set the hook. And after, you know, just one or two or a couple of fish, it really makes that knot inferior or break easier. So that's my opinion. It did not work for me. Again, the double uni and the Palomar did not work for me with fluorocarbons. So I switched to this San Diego jam and I've had zero issues with it, guys. I, like I said, I've been a big swim bait guy for, I don't know, four five, six years now. That's what I've exclusively thrown for that with zero issues. I don't know why it didn't click in my brain for me to just go ahead and switch over to all my fluorocarbon lines. But I have this year and now after a couple of months of doing this, I wanted to make sure that, you know, it wasn't just for big lines, but it was for small lines as well. This is eight pound right here. I've used six pound as well. And it's worked perfectly. I have not broken off at the knot once. So now that you know my problem or why I went searching for a different knot, and now that I found the different knot, I just wanted to share it with you guys. So if you guys don't know this knot, I highly encourage you guys to, to learn it. I'm gonna run through it real quick. This one actually needs to be retied anyway. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to tie this knot. But if you guys miss something or, or can't follow along, there's plenty of videos out there uh, already on the internet that show you know maybe like a rope or a very thick cord that you can follow along. So feel free to watch those as well. But again, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I tie this and hopefully it is the last fishing knot that you guys will ever have to, to learn because it just works that good. Like I said, across the board, I've tried it with jigs all the way up to 20 pound line, swim baits, 25 pound line, and with finesse applications, you know, shaky heads, Nikos, uh, drop shot, and swim baits on you know, six and eight pound line. So it works across the board, but hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this one. If you guys have enjoyed this so far, go ahead, drop a like down below, comment on what your favorite fluorocarbon fishing knot is. I'd be very curious. Also consider subscribing to the channel. Now let's jump into tying this knot, the double San Diego jam. All right, so we got our bait here. You can see it's attached. I'm gonna cut it, cut it off. I've got my bait here with the eye. It's gonna to be tough to see guys. Like I said, there are zoomed in versions already. If you guys wanna go check those out, uh, if you guys wanna continue watching, follow along with how I do it. This is how I tie the, tie the knot and this is what works for me. So as you guys can see here, here's our bait. Here's my main line. I'm gonna run it through the eye of the hook or the lure, just like that. So now I have my main line, it's through the eye of the hook. You guys can see that. Give yourself a nice long tag line and I'm gonna go back through to double up the line. So what you're left with at this point, put this down, 
what you're left with at this point is now we have our doubled line. So now we have a loop in one hand and you guys can see the hook is, is or the lure is hanging right in the middle there. And I have my main line and my tag line now on the same sides of this lure. So now I have a doubled up line. And all you're gonna do is take the looped end and go over the main line and the tag line and pinch with your fingers, just like that. So now I have a loop. I have a loop in this hand and all you're gonna do, hopefully you guys can see this, is wrap this loop that I've created four times around this main line. Three and four. And then I still have this loop. And now there's a loop that's created from those wrapped lines right at the eye of the hook. Right there. You guys can see that. I'm going to run my loop through the loop created at the eye of the hook, just like that. And then I'm going to take that loop. and pinch the top of the line. And as you guys can see here, another loop was created at the top of the knot where my main line and my tag line have come through. And all I'm gonna do is put it through that loop as well in the same direction of the main line and the tag line. So now I'm gonna have four lines coming through that top loop. As you guys can see here, one, two is my main line, and then the loop. And all you're gonna do is moisten this and pull on all four tag lines, just like that. So see, I have my main line, my tag line, and my loop. And I pulled them tight, way above the hook, right up there, with all four lines. Once I've done that, you're going to release the loop at the top and just grab your tag line and your main line, moisten the line, and then pull gently on those two lines, the tag line and the main line. And what's gonna happen here is that line is going to cinch up just like that on the bait. And now to tighten this knot, grab the tag line, Give it a nice little tug, grab the main line, nice little tug, and the loop, and a nice little tug. Now we have three tag lines. We've got our tag line, and then our loop, which creates two lines itself. We're going to snip those as pretty close. I like to leave, you know, I'm pretty particular. I like uh, to snip them pretty close to, to the knot. Cut those three lines off, and what you're left with is a beautiful looking San Diego jam. It's doubled up, so it's a doubled up line knot. I've had zero issue, it's issues with it. It's one of the strongest knots out there, period. And hopefully you guys can see, I mean, it is an absolutely perfect knot. It looks pretty clean. That knot is not going to go anywhere. It can withstand you know, shock, it can withstand heavy fish. You don't have to retie it often. I definitely have to retie when the line's chafed up, not the knot. And that's very important, again, with the problems that I already listed. That's very important is my knot is not failing at all. I've had 0% failure with this knot. So you guys apply that. Hopefully you guys learned something in that video. If you guys enjoyed this, again, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to y'all soon.